Um, it's Wednesday, as you can tell. Got my dog. Um, the whole coronavirus going around. I'm not too worried about it because apparently anybody under the age of age of 39, I think, um, as they said, can't get it. I think that's what they said. Because apparently anybody under the age of 39 is healthy. So healthy that the coronavirus can't affect them. I don't know if that's true. But anyways, I did some a little prepping. Um, I stocked up on some Coca-Cola glass bottles. Um, the reason why I did that is because um, I think the glass bottles are better uh, than um, plastic bottles and it's the real Coca-Cola. It's not that fake Coca-Cola you can get anywhere. Um, but I got a big case from Costco. That is mor morale. I learned the f word for it. It's called morale food. Um, I got that. Um, um, I also, um, for him, looking to get him a, um, jacket, um, I'm looking at a Carhartt jacket, um, so I need you guys help, you know, um, do Carhartt make, um, jackets for dogs, and, um, where can I get one for, for a good price, um, because he needs a new jacket. Um, his sweater that I got him is kind of kind of getting too small on him. Um, Daddy over here. <laughs> Love you, Bailey. Um, um, I'll probably be making videos more. Um, I'm on spring break for my work. Um, so if you see more videos put up, it's probably because I got nothing else to do. Um, but for the coronavirus, I have ordered um, the correct respirator and the correct filters. Um, I only ordered um, two filters, one for each side, because um, apparently the filters last forever. Um, that's what I was told when I did research. Um, but if you could tell me different from down in the comments, um, That'd be great. Um, I am planning on, sorry, I'm planning on getting some more stuff prepping, uh, like Lysol. Um, I have been washing my hands more often um, than usual. I don't know why it feels like I'm choking, but it feels like it. Um, but. I had looking up on, on YouTube um, things to prepare if you if shit hit the fan things to prepare for your dog and what you should start about if you have a dog um, you got some good interesting videos um, one I thought it would be a good video was um, Canadian Prepper uh, I watch a lot of his videos, but um, the ultimate prepping survival dog, um, I thought it was going to show some good stuff. Um, apparently it didn't, um, but um, I know most dogs that, not just Canadian prepper, but most of the other videos, um, I don't even know how to uh, I don't even know how to read some of them. The only way I know is Canadian Prepper. That's the only way I could pronounce. Um, I'm not hating on him. He does here. Um, one of my favorites. Um, him and Survival Lily. Lily. Lily uh, I don't know how to say that. But a lot of these videos I'm watching, they're trying to go towards a dog that attacks except for Canadian Prepper. Um, yes, your dog will protect your home. Um, 
especially German Shepherd. I guarantee you anybody breaks in the house and see a freaking German Shepherd, they're gonna walk out immediately. They're gonna be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> um, he, he, he's, he, he's not, no. Um, he's not tough. But he, he is sort of, he can defend for himself if he had to. Um, but most of the time I take care of him. Um, like here in a few seconds, I'm about to go cook up some eggs. Um, if you didn't know, um, eggs are good for dogs. It makes their coat shiny, um, their fur coat shiny, and it, it boosts their um, immune system. I think that's saying that right. Um, so, if you do got any eggs and you want to make your dog look kind of more, um, more attractive or <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, or more healthier, um, you just fix the most eggs. Um, yes, they can be raw too. Um, the raw eggs for dogs, um, they can only have one, um, uh, once a month, um. I learned this from a vet, and then learned from a stepdad, and then did research, and apparently raw egg is more healthier than a cooked egg for a dog. Um, you just take the raw egg, mix it in with their dog food, um, and put some hot water on it, I guess, that's what you do, um, and they'll gobble up, he, he, he's very spoiled. But most of the time I do give him scrambled eggs. I'll fix some scrambled eggs for me and fix him some and then we we'll have some breakfast. Um, sorry. Still feels like something lodged in my throat, but uh, oh excuse me. But there's nothing there. I know, um, there was something strange on, on the line. Every time I looked up um, filters and respirators or gas masks or whatever you want to call them, um, I wouldn't get them offline. I would probably get them from your local store, any store that you think sells the respirator and filters because um, I had a hard time picking the right one. Um, because a lot of the options, they come from South Korea, apparently. South Korea, China, and... I think it's Vietnam. Um, so, I didn't trust those, so... I did happen to find one that was on the, just a half, half mask respirator. And... America and the filters um, in other places in America. But finding things that are from America um, online is very hard, apparently. Um, and another reason why you get these filters or respirators or gas masks or whatever you want to try to get to protect yourself from the coronavirus. Um, it's just um, really hard to get because they really mark up the prices. Um, uh, I think a box of N95 face mask about um, some places almost one hundred fifty dollars. I seen one uh, box of them for almost four hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, it's just crazy that they're gonna mark up prices for uh, like that. So it shows you how people are in the world. Um, you don't have to get one for your dog. Um, it's already been cleared that dogs can't, your pet, any pet can't get it. Uh, he, he's sleeping, so. I figured I'd make a video, um, kind of be a short video. Oh, no, excuse me. 
Um, what else was I going to say? Oh. I want to let me get it, pull it up real quick. Uh, I'm not gonna play the video, but uh, if you got if you got the skills to make this. Um, I recommend um, doing this because um, it actually worked and it, it was a really cool video but the youtubers name is called craft station um, it, the video is called how to make a universal charger from Metro Exodus uh, DIY um, and it actually worked um, I know if I had the skills I would make one but I don't um, but I highly recommend looking up that video if you are looking for a way to um, make your own way to power up something. Um, I think it, it was a really fun video and actually work. He's got more videos of Metro Exodus stuff that I think can be useful and I uh, should hit the fan scenario. scenario. Um, I think, yeah, let's... It also makes how to make a rifle from Mandalorian. Um, I mean, he's got some really cool videos. Flame Guard from The Last of Us. It actually works. Um, a full metal buzz axe from Borderlands 3. Um, Well, no, he has another one. Oh, you make a backpack for Metro Exodus. Um, I haven't watched that. I'm actually going to watch that. And he shows how to make the watch and, and the radiation counter from Metro Exodus. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, so it's craft station. Um, I would highly, highly recommend looking at some of his videos. Um, they're really cool and interesting. I think some of it, uh, if you modify it just right, you can turn into a, like an actual lethal weapon. Um, like he shows how to make the duplet from Metro Last Light, like that shotgun, homemade shotgun. Um, I'm pretty sure if you do it just right, you can make that actually shoot. Um, but the backpack thing, I'm kind of curious on that. Um, but anyways, um, if you do have any skills, um, Craft Station's got some cool stuff. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna go, um, kind of hungry. All right, see ya.